If you are selling print on demand products with Etsy, utilizing video mockups is a great way for you to stand out in Etsy search and place. It makes it so easy for you to utilize this feature and actually get your products on real live models. In today's video, I'm share with you how to exactly create a video mockup for your print on demand t-shirt, how to actually scale this properly. So it looks exactly like it's printed out for your model and how to upload this to your Etsy listing so you can actually stop that scroll and get more clicks to your Etsy shop. I'm sure this all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends, you're new here. My name is Jay and on this channel, I teach you how to make passive income online by creating and selling your own products. And so if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now, the main platform that we're going to utilize for today's video is place it. Place it is a great space for you to create amazing mock-up images for your print on demand products. Not only do they cover things like t-shirts and hoodies, but all things print on demand, like your tote bags, your mugs, and even down to your hats and wall art design. They just have a ton of stuff here that I think is extremely helpful if you are struggling trying to find great mock-ups for your print on demand products. Now, place it actually goes a step further because not only is it a place for you to create great mock-up images, but you can actually write in place it, create a print on demand design and utilize that on Etsy. Those things I find extremely useful for my print on demand business because I am a huge fan of having a system and making sure everything is dialed in for me to have the best opportunity to get my product sold on Etsy. I make sure I leave all the details in my description box below if you want to check this out on your own and again to see if it's best for your print on demand business. This is placeit.net. I make sure I leave all of the links in my description box below again for you to get access to all of this. And again, place it is a great space for you to create again your mock up images for your print on demand products. But again, when you head over to designs and apparel, you can see they have a ton of different templates you can utilize for your print on demand business. And again, this is just a great way. If you don't have any other tool to use, this is a great tool to use because you have everything you need to really launch your print on demand business exactly from where you are. However, in today's video, I just want to share with you how to go ahead and get these video mockups up and running in your Etsy shop so you can get everything dialed in for your print on demand business. So place it has a ton of resources as you can see here to have mock-up design logos, videos, things for gaming, and they have their own section dedicated to teaching you how to get the most out of using place it. And again, if you are totally new to print on demand and you're trying to figure out how to save some dollars and what is the best place for you to actually have great mock-ups, have great designs, have great features for your overall print on demand business, place it is probably the space you want to do that because everything is in this one space. So to get started with your video mock-up, you want to head over to the mock-up section, go all the way down to apparel and you want to select the merch videos. And this will give us different type of merch videos for our print on demand products. Again, just not just your t-shirts, but your mugs, your hats, your hoodies, all those type of things. However, place it gives you so many options for you to just go ahead and filter and really focus on the things you definitely want to spend time creating. So if you look on the left hand side, you will see all different type of print on demand products that they have videos for. Our main goal today is just to focus on t-shirt videos for our print on demand product. So we definitely want to filter this here, but as you can see, it has over a thousand different options for you to create a t-shirt video mock-up for your print on demand business. So from here, I'm going to select it because it's going to show us different type of video files we can create. Now from here, there are several different video mockups you can go ahead and utilize. They have some that has models in them, some that just have the particular product in it. You have some that has text overlays and some that just have this moving background where the model is in focus, but the background is shifting and giving that 3D effect. And so you just have to determine what type of product style you want to have. I think the ones that work best on Etsy are the ones that actually have the model in the shot actually moving as this will be visible to the people who come on your Etsy listing when they see it in search. And it's just an easy way for them to just get their eyes on your product very quickly. And from here, I can go ahead and select a particular product I want to focus on. I like to focus on videos that have the product in the shot 100% of the time, because again, the attention span of people on Etsy when they're just scrolling is just a couple of seconds. So I want them to see exactly what the t-shirt is all about so I can get them to click on 
with my item and then learn more about that product. So I want to focus on this particular video model here. So now that we have our particular video mockup selected, just a couple of things that we want to focus on before we upload our product. You do have the option here, of course, to upload your product, but you also have the option to change the color of the t-shirt. Now this video mockup gives you the opportunity to add audio to this if you want to attach this to a YouTube short or a TikTok or Instagram video. But because we're just using this for Etsy, Etsy will not track the audio. They're only going to track the video. So here's one of the t-shirts I have created for one of my print on demand products. However, if I want this to fit perfectly on my video mock-up. I want to follow what I see and place it in regards to what is the proper pixels count and the pixel size I want to follow. So we have 750 by 1200. So in order for me to change the overall size of my product, I can go into the resize function here. I am using Canva Pro and I can go ahead and add in this size here. So again, I have 750. So I change this to 750. And then I also have 1200 and I changed the pixel count to 1200. Now, if you're using Canva Pro, you can do this very easily without messing up your original design. So from here, I just want to hit copy and resize, but I want to have a version of this where I'm able to upload this into places. So I can hit copy and resize and it will copy this uh, design I have created, but produce this in the proper size for me to save this and upload this into my video mockup design. So now we have our design resize for us to use and place it. Now, in order for me to use this, I want to go to the download area and download this as a PNG file and definitely click the transparent background. So all of the white background will be removed. And all I have is my design to work with from here. I can download this and now this is ready to be uploaded and place it for me to finish my video mockup design. Now that we have our design fully downloaded and ready to use for our video mockup, I want to head back over to place it, go over to insert image, and I want to actually upload this from my device. So I can simply click upload from my device. I will go and find where my particular file has been downloaded with my design, which is used from Canva. And what I typically like to do is just make this a little bit larger here in order for this to actually work for my t-shirt design. So now that we have our design uploaded to place it, we can see the preview here before it renders out the full video. Again, this would give us the option to go back in and to resize this accordingly. Again, we can make this larger. We can have this go down a little bit more, but I think for our overall design, everything looks good here. If I think everything is set, I can hit crop again and it will render the image into the model and it will give me a preview before it goes through the entire video. From here, if I want to change the color of my particular shirt, I can do that here. And I can just simply click on a color or go into a custom color I have already utilized for my t-shirt and my printify account if i'm using that and i can just follow up with the color code and change the color of the t-shirt here but for our case today we're going to stick with the color white just so we can see the overall design and how this is going to look once the video is complete so our mock-up looks really good for us to go ahead to the final stage to get this video rendered and for us to download this you can go down to the bottom here and play all slides and this will render out the video for us to download however if you want to add additional slides maybe you're using this for social media you can add in more video content of your t-shirt mock-ups if you so choose however in our case today we're just simply utilizing this for our etsy listing and etsy only gives us about 5 to 15 seconds to display our product in a video we definitely want to keep to the default time of our video mock-up because we want to stay in that time frame that etsy gives us so from here i can hit play all slides so from here i can hit play all slides and it will process all of the things we added into our video mock-up so now our video mock-up is complete and as you can see this is a great mock-up to use for your etsy listing i love how we have all of the product here in the shot we have everything focused in the center of our design and because of the technology place it utilizes it looks as if the design is printed right on the t-shirt so if everything looks well here, I can go ahead and hit download. And what it will do is that it will save to my place of account, which is great. If I'm working from different devices, I can always go back 
to my save files and actually find the projects I worked on. And it will also give me the option to download to whatever device I am utilizing today. So once everything is done processing, I will be ready to download this particular video and upload this to my Etsy listing. All right, so our download is now complete. We can go ahead and click it to download this to our device and everything is downloading and ready to be utilized on Etsy. So now I'm gonna jump into one of my Etsy listings. I'm gonna share with you how easy it is just to drag over this file and actually have this be displayed in your Etsy listing. So here we are in our Etsy listing. And of course we have the option here to add in some still mockups, but we want to go down to this area where it says video. And as you can see here, Etsy says, bring your product to life with a five to 15 second video. It can help you drive more sales. The video won't feature sound. So let your product do the talking. And it gives you just some quick tips about some things you should do when you are converting your video file to be utilized for your Etsy listing. But Place It already does the hard work for us to make sure that we have the highest quality video and the proper rendering of the video for us to utilize on our Etsy listing. Now, Etsy shows us that the file size for the video must not exceed above 100 megabytes. But again, when you're utilizing Place It, it takes all those things into account when we actually create our video mockup. This is huge if you are starting off a brand new Etsy shop because from here on out, everything you have created can be tied to a video that gives you more opportunities for your products to be seen, clicked, and then purchased on your Etsy shop. So from here, I wanna go ahead and add my video. I can go to my downloaded files where my video is located. I can simply click this and it is in a vertical format, which is perfect for the Etsy app that most people utilize to actually purchase from their phones. And so my video is being uploaded here and I have my video here that we have created. I can hit the play button and this is the preview that people will see when they hover over my product. Again, this is a game changer, especially if you are new to selling pro on demand products because every single product you create can be tied to a video and having a video is a great way for you to stand out from all the other t-shirts that's on there that just have those still mock-up images. When something is moving, it is going to attract the eye of the buyer. So you definitely want to do as much as you can to be found, to be seen in the Etsy search and start getting clicks to your overall product. So from here, we can go ahead and finish out our entire listing for our Etsy product by adding tags, titles, great description, and some additional mock-up images. But once everything is done for your listing, go ahead and publish this to your Etsy shop. And now you can start getting more clicks based upon this amazing video that will be shown in the Etsy search. So as you can see, Place It is a great space for you to create these video mock-up images. I think this is really gonna change the game if you are new to selling pro demand products because you definitely want to stand out in search. And with Etsy giving you that hover feature and allowing your videos to be displayed, you definitely want to stand out if you are new and this is a great way to do that. Now again, Place It covers a lot of different resources if you are trying to grow your print on demand business. Those things I find extremely useful for my print on demand business because I am a huge fan of having a system and making sure everything is dialed in for me to have the best opportunity to get my product sold on Etsy. I make sure I leave all the details in my description box below if you want to check this out on your own and again to see if it's best for your print on demand business. Now in today's video, I didn't have time to talk about how to create a great Etsy title for you to actually get found in search and start getting clicks to your Etsy product. However, if you want to learn my exact strategy of creating a clickable title to your Etsy listing, make sure you check out this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make passive income online, then consider subscribing to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay and I will see you in the next video.